Republican Senator Rick Scott bestowed an award on football throwing Fox News host Sean Hannity during a live town hall in Florida. And it is every bit as ridiculous as it sounds. What is that? Wait till we sit down. Okay. All right, sit down. Okay, here's what I did. Okay. What is this? Okay, so in this role is run the, uh, I'm the chairman of the National Republican Senatorial Committee. I created an award for people that care about freedom. <laughs> Who do you think should get this? Sean Hannity. Oh my God. You care about freedom. What you do on your show to fight for freedom around this country is unbelievable and unparalleled. Oh my God. So this is for you. Wow, wow, I've got a bowl now. I can drain my pasta now. Thank you, Rick Scott, I'm a great freedom warrior. Let me now throw my silver bowl off to the side when we go to commercial break. People online were quick to point out that accepting the award breaks journalistic ethics, which to be fair, Hannity <laughs> literally never abided by anyway. So at least he's not breaking precedent there. The deputy director of rapid response at the watchdog media matters, Andrew Lawrence sarcastically tweeted that the chairman of the Republican Senate committee just gave Sean Hannity a Republican Senate committee award on TV. And I gotta be honest, it's really making me start to question Sean Hannity and Fox News's objectivity. <laughs> <laughs> Some people had witty conspiracies about the award itself, like Andy Bananas on Twitter, who says it looks like a silver bulb when they turn it over and put it on their heads. It's actually a tinfoil hat, so figures. But Hannity's actually not the first freedom fighter to get this prestigious award that you can put avocado in. Scott, the chairman of the National Republican Senatorial Committee, said he created an award for people who care about freedom. And he gave this freedom award the first time to former president Donald Trump last year. Mm. Trump didn't even put on a suit for this one. <laughs> he came straight off the golf course and he's holding this bowl asking for your money. And if you see any pieces of his brain or dignity, please pick him up, put him in the bowl and tell him to sit the f down. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? Well, we'll find out. Um, <laughs> it's the bonus episode, right? <laughs> so, um, yes, yes, it is. Yeah, I, I love this story. Um, not because of the journalistic blah blah blah. Okay, first of all, <laughs> come on. Just because we call Fox, they call Fox News. We have to pretend it's news. Does anybody think like, oh, Fox News? Sean Hannity. He, well, the, the, right before the show, man, he had a big debate internally, had his pro producers get together. Who do you think's right, Republicans or Democrats? Republicans or Democrats? Let's have an honest debate about this. Come on, are we kidding around here? Don't be ridiculous. Besides which, I actually don't believe any of those rules. And I don't think even mainstream media follows those rules. So what, what does mainstream media do? Oh, the corporate position is right again. Wow, what a coincidence. Okay. And in fact, we'll call it objective. The status quo is brilliant. Again, why wow, look at that. Don't change anything. Don't change anything. That one again in an internal poll? Huh? <laughs> okay, and we'll call it objective. And we'll say if you don't agree with the corporate position, you're biased. Perfect. That's a double layer of BS, right? So, but let's put that stuff aside because I think the real story is how funny this award is, right? <laughs> I now think that Rick Scott's wife bought a set of those at a flea market. <laughs> <laughs> and Rick Scott's like, what am I gonna do with these? I have six of the same useless bowls. We don't even have that many avocados, okay? So he's like, oh, I got an idea. I just go around kissing people's ass and say, congratulations, this is for freedom. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what the Republicans are like, I want an award for freedom. What does that even mean? <laughs> like, that doesn't mean anything. It's like me saying, hey, Ben, congratulations. So you gave me the star the other day, I forgot it. Okay, you know what, Ben? This is a new award for happiness. <laughs> congratulations. Oh, you thank you. An award for happiness. Wow. Wow, I can't, I'm so honored for about this. I, I will use yeah, it to scratch You see Trump in the picture too, he was talking to like, now nah, I can put my Fruit Loops in this beautiful bowl. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, the whole, the whole notion of Donald Trump, I mean, not Donald Trump, but Republicans and conservatives always freedom, freedom, freedom. Like, 
while they take away everyone's rights and everyone's money and everyone's benefits and access to social programs and access to health care and good education and good food and good water. And they want to throw everyone in jail and put spikes under bridges so homeless people don't have anywhere to sleep. It like it like it, it's so ridiculous, like literally every single area where you can be like, do you have a choice here? Do you have any type of dignity here? Republicans are like, no, let me take that back. But they're the they're the party of freedom. It, it's just it's so stupid. It, it's so dumb. And even off camera, Sean Hannity is not particularly pro freedom. I met him once for a total of 15 seconds. I was covering <laughs> the Republican National Convention for NPR, and I went up to him with my microphone to ask him a question, and he literally smacks his hand down on my microphone and knocks it <laughs> down and says, Who are you with? And I go, NPR. And he goes, Yeah, we're not talking to you. And he walks off and he literally has goons following him around. These are not security people with an earpiece or weapons. These are like old dude goons. And the guy checks me, body checks me as Hannity escapes and walks away surrounded by other goons. And I shouted after him, oh, I guess freedom isn't part of what happens in Hannity's America. That's Sean Hannity. Even off camera, you'd think he would be a little softer. Nope. Yeah, I mean, earlier in the show, we talked about how they're banning books. The, the governor's candidate in Michigan for the Republicans want to ban books about divorce. Because she's like, I don't want kids to have the freedom to read about things that are true. Okay. And so freedom's gone on that front. I mean, you name it, they, they back private prisons, which literally take away your freedom for money, right? They're like, oh, okay, we can turn imprisoning people into an industry. Well, uh, not enough, they have a problem though, not enough people commit murders and rapes and robberies. So what are we gonna do? Oh, why don't we got a great idea. We'll make marijuana a perfectly safe substance illegal so you can make more money by imprisoning them. Hashtag freedom, okay, you're getting an award <laughs> for it though. But I think what's funnier is just how esoteric the word freedom is. Like they decided that they were gonna do propaganda and marketing around it and they're gonna own the word freedom. And so just go around giving out awards for freedom. Well, but what does that mean? <laughs> right? Like, what did what did they do to earn an award about this esoteric concept? They don't even. Well, state and it. they also. Well, I was gonna say they, they they try to own the concept of freedom, but also they try to make like the concepts of like loving your family and working hard for purpose like a political concept when that's like literally ingrained in human DNA. Like working is part of what we do to survive and what we do by design as human beings is working and pursuing things and loving our family is what we do for survival. And there's like, these are conservative principles. Like, no, they're not, they're healthy human being principles. So it's like, it, it's just everything about the conservative movement is a joke. I did a Rebel HQ video about Sean Hannity recently on that exact topic, Jackson, about you know we have to work and we work with pride, most people at our jobs. And Hannity recently said, here's the way out of tough financial times for everybody watching in America, work more, work harder, <laughs> work 70, 80, 90 hours a week was his solution to gain more freedom. And as a great freedom fighter that he is, have even less free time to do anything freely. We're gonna have to start using their tactics. They wanna ban books. I think it's time we take a hard stand as progressives and ban freedom bowls. Absolutely, Hard and decision. somehow wake up with a 35 hours in a day, you know, because then we can add more yep. work to our schedule. Yep. So. And also for journalistic <laughs> ethics reasons, I'm sorry, Jenk, but I'm gonna have to give this back to you. Oh my God! Uh, yeah, see, the, set the tone, set the tone. Mm -hmm. Show an example. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Then I'm making a new one. And Jackson, this one goes to you. <laughs> this is an award for sunshine. <laughs> sunshine. Right, Here you go. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.